An interesting um, fact about Lafayette's trip around this area between Jackson and Enfield is um, when they got to Halifax. So there's a there's a claim in Halifax here. I mean, it's pretty well known, but they feel really strongly about it that they were. This is the town where originated the original framework of the state's constitutional idea, basically that you know the Halifax resolves uh, these documents early on in the 1770s, and um, there's kind of a debate, you know, whether it can be considered the first or not. And an interesting thing that I have shared with the locals, but we can might as well do it here also, is that um, the newspaper at the time that covers Lafayette's visit to Halifax quotes Lafayette. Um, giving credit to Halifax for being the birthplace, I forget the exact words, but to be the birthplace of the Constitution of North Carolina. So, you know, if Lafayette says it, you might as well believe it. We are very much like Lafayette in 1825, following the towns in order, uh, the, in the order that he traveled them in 1825, so Lafayette came here as documented by the North Carolina Free Press. The teaching of American history and particularly the American Revolution is on a decline. And Julius mission with his Lafayette trail is to rekindle that love affair with Lafayette and his heroics whose bravery and leadership has provided us with the liberty we as Americans so cherish today. And furthermore, the trail will become a, sim a simple symbol of French-American friendship we call cordial affection. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, the first time uh, Lafayette and Washington met each other was in Philadelphia in 1777. So this is just a little depiction of that meeting. And uh, we both know now that uh, it had tremendous consequences on the national independence that followed. But yeah, the personal friendship between these two men is a critical one and uh, I'm not surprised to see it everywhere, um, you know, or around the country and certainly here in El Enfield for sure. When Lafayette traveled to North Carolina, it's actually right after the birthday celebrations in honor of George Washington. So Lafayette waited until the celebrations to honor his friend George Washington uh, had taken place before he decided to start what was called the southern and western uh, sections, portions of his farewell tour. And uh, North Carolina is among the very first states that he visited after having left Washington DC where he spent the winter uh, of 1824 all the way through uh, uh, in late February 1825 obviously so it's it's we're right there we're right at the beginning of the southern journey and I think it's excellent that we have total coverage of the trail in North Carolina at least uh, leading to a complete coverage of one of the very first states that Lafayette saw after he departed DC